It has come to my attention that you bought a digital planner to start your digital planning journey, but now you're feeling overwhelmed and lost. Don't worry, friend. I'm going to show you the exact digital planning setup I use for planning. And by the end of this video, you're going to be on your way to becoming a certified digital planner. Let's get into it. Before we get started, here's the number one rule. Simple equals sustainable. If your planning system is too complicated, you won't use it. So everything we're going to do today is intentional, realistic, and most importantly, repeatable. All right, for this whole digital planning thing to work, you're going to need a calendar app. Whatever app you already use is perfect. Keep that. I use Apple Calendar because it syncs across all my devices. But again, whatever calendar you're currently working with, continue to use that. We already have enough new going on without adding more to the pot. Now your calendar app is for any commitments that come up like appointments, events, meetings, or plans with family and friends. Anytime you make a plan and you have a date and a time, get in the habit of adding that to your calendar immediately. That way, when you sit down to plan out your month, you don't have to rely on your memory to keep up with everything. It's already there. This one habit alone will save you a lot of mental stress and energy. Now, the first thing you want to do in your planner is pick a cover. The All Things Planner includes 10 covers. You can choose the cover that you want to use and move it to the front of the planner so you still have the other covers to rotate through the year, or you can choose the one that you want to use and delete the others. After the planner covers is the dashboard. Now the dashboard gives you quick access to the yearly and monthly planning pages, alternate planner layouts, your dashboards for goal and project planning, and the template library. At the bottom, there are 12 custom dividers that can be built for your planning needs. Just add templates from the template library to build your different sections. To add templates, select the template from the template library that you want to use. Use the three dots at the top of the page to copy the template, then go to the area that you want to add the template. Use the page with the plus sign and paste the template. After the dashboard, the planner goes into the yearly pages. First, there's a 2026 calendar and all of your days and months on this page are hyperlinked to quickly jump to that day or month you select. Your yearly overview pages are hyperlinked too so you can quickly jump to your days or your month. Now these overview pages can be used to write down any plans or events you have throughout the year so you can have them at a quick glance. The next templates are your quarterly planning templates. Each quarter has its own page and you can use it to write down your focus, task or any events that you have planned for the quarter. At the bottom of the page, there's space for you to come back and review how the quarter went. Now the next template is for your yearly goals. The boxes here can be used to write down your goals and there's space to add motivational pictures to give you a visual of what you want to achieve for the year. Moving on from here, you have your vision board for 2026. This will help you visualize your goals and help you stay motivated to achieve them. Now let me show you how to quickly create a digital vision board. When creating a vision board, I like to use my planner in landscape and open two windows, one with the planner and the other with the Pinterest website. Make sure it's the website and not the app. There are a few ways you can use images from Pinterest in your vision board. You can save the image using the three dots and select the download image. Then use the photo tool to add the image to your template. You can also long hold on the image and drag it to your planner and drop it. This is the method that I use the most. It's quick, easy, and it doesn't take up storage on your device. Once you have the images on your template, you can arrange them to create your vision board. You can also use the crop tool to adjust the size or shape of any of the images that you want to add or use. Now, when I sit down to plan for a new month, the first thing I start with is a reflection of the previous month. Take a moment to reflect. Think about what went well, what didn't go as planned, what did you learn in the last month? Write down any highlights, memorable moments, accomplishments, or even challenges that you faced in the last month. You can also reflect on things like events you attended, books you read, shows or movies you love, food or drinks that you couldn't get enough of, and any non-negotiables that you had for the last month. Treat this like a mini journaling session. 
Even though I have all of my events and appointments on my calendar, I still sit down at the end of each month and complete a monthly overview for the upcoming month in my planner. There's just something about writing it down that just makes it stick. For this process, you wanna start by pulling up your calendar and writing down everything that you already have scheduled for the current month. Now you can add in any routines, deadlines, or important moments that are coming up. This will give you a clear view of what the next four or five weeks will actually look like. So that's all the meat and potatoes when using your monthly template in your planner. And the extras or the bonus are adding digital stickers to the template. Now let's do a quick tutorial on adding digital stickers to your planner. The easiest way to add your digital stickers once you have your sticker file downloaded to GoodNotes is to use your lasso tool. So I open the sticker file and circle the sticker I wanna use, copy the sticker from the sticker file and then paste it into my digital planner. To layer your digital stickers, of course you can copy and paste a sticker on top of another one and you'll get the layered effect. But if you want to add a sticker behind a sticker that's already on your template, you're going to copy the sticker and paste it. And then use the menu to move the sticker to the back. You're going to use the arrange option to move the sticker to the back and that slides it behind the sticker that's already on your template. Now I found that not only is adding digital stickers a creative outlet, but if you like the look of your planner, you tend to come back to it more and use it more often. Now that we have the month plan, it's time to set some goals and intentions. Choose your big three. These are your top three priorities for the month, your non-negotiables. Other things may get done during the month, but these three things are your main focus. Your big three can be things like goals, projects, self-care priorities, and so on. Once you've chosen your three, now you can set a few supporting goals to help move them forward. And this is also a good time to create a running task list for the month and add everything that you need or want to get done. The task list will be helpful when you sit down to plan out your week or your day. After completing the monthly overview, I also add a few stickers to this template. Now, when it comes to setting goals, I'm a little extra and every month I create a vision board. I use the photos to motivate me to accomplish the goals that I've set for the month. And now I have a visual representation to look back on. The last thing I want to show you is how to add your vision board to the lock screen. Take a screenshot of your vision board and crop the photo down to remove your planner tabs. Go to your planner lock screen and with your iPad unlocked, hold on the screen and select customize. 
select the small photo of your current lock screen and select choose photo. Select the photo of your vision board from your photo library to add it to your lock screen. You can also customize the clock color to match your lock screen. And y'all, that's it. You're all planned out and ready for the month. You can keep your digital planning routine simple and the more you use your planner, the easier the whole process will become. I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and also if you have any tips to share, leave those below too. All right, y'all, till next time.